All right, so it's day two in Ireland. We are headed down to the castle. We're gonna go inside today and we're having a bit of a walk. Liz is right there. We're both ready and it's gonna be a good day. So uh, see you guys later. about Carrick Fergus. This is the best milk in Carrick Fergus County. Two, Terry, three, Good John, and, and four, you're gonna do drugs. It's inevitable. everyone so today we are in Belfast um, we booked a sightseeing tour like perfect tourists and uh, it's kind of like a hop on hop off bus and so to, we chose to stop at um, the Queen's University this is right here being awesome and um, I'll just sh you know just show you a bit so I mean how cool is that right um, we're gonna go to the botanic gardens today, and um, we're just gonna we're gonna f so <laughs> yeah basically yeah. So 
this is our last day in Belfast. We're at St. George's Market. I got some paella and Liz got a delicious looking sandwich. Cool market vibe. As you can see, it is raining buckets. It's, as they say, it's pissing down. <laughs> and... All right, so um, we are ending our stay in Ireland. Um, I'm gonna tell you just really quickly um, the bits you might not have heard. Um, so um, our flight um, went pretty well until we got into our flight into London. It was late, so we missed our flight to Belfast. So we ended up having to stay the night in London, which ended up being very expensive, trying to get from the airport into a hostel so it just was a really expensive thing and um, we had to rebook a flight to Belfast so we did that next morning we flew to Belfast um, after a lot of hiccups um, and then we found an Airbnb to stay at in Carrickfergus which was about 40 minutes outside of the city and it ended up being like the greatest thing because Alan was super nice he was our host and um, it was beautiful in Carrickfergus. It was we've got this really small town feel, and it's right on the ocean. And there's a castle. And the first night, um, we went into like a small pub, and the people were so nice to us and buying us drinks and stuff. And so how can you leave when you're getting free alcohol? Um, and they were so nice to us, and we made a whole bunch of friends. Um, and then the next day, we explored the castle. We got to go inside the castle. We went back to the bar. We met more people. Um, there was a guy named John who was really cool and he was into like music that Liz liked and he told us to go and like meet a guy named Terry Hooley who what is like this old um, like punk artist you know he's a lot older now but he was playing a gig the next night so we so he said you gotta meet Terry Hooley Terry Hooley is awesome so uh, of course we wanted to meet Terry Hooley and now it's kind of become a joke because it's like anything that's really great is Terry Hooley um, and so um, we explored Belfast, and the next few days we saw St. St. Stephen's Green, and you'll see clips of this and stuff. Um, but um, Belfast was nice. Um, definitely preferred Carrick Fergus to Belfast, and then um, we took a bus down from Belfast to Dublin. When we got to Dublin, we found out there was a parade, and so everything was booked, and we couldn't find a place, and the one place we did find was so expensive. So we got to stay there the night, but the next night they were all booked. So we were like out of out of luck for a place. And then we found a person um, in Bray, which is an hour away on the beach, um, who was able to couch surf, like host us on couch surfing for free. Well, we ended up meeting him and we stayed with him, but he was really creepy and like I didn't say much at first, but I just I started feeling really uncomfortable. Like he was just something was off about him and I eventually told Liz and we both agreed so we booked it out of there <laughs> um, out of um, we had gone we had d taken a drive with him from Bray to Cork to um, Galway and then we took a bus from Galway to Dublin to get out away from him um, and so then that was last night we got into Dublin we kind of had a chill day did some laundry and then um, today we spent the day a separate um, exploring the city um, had a great time, had some Guinness, and, um, it was a really, it was a nice time in Ireland. We learned a lot. We learned, um, basically avoid London, <laughs> and couch surfing is a little scary. Um, we're still gonna try again on couch surfing, but I don't, I will never miss John, ever. He was, I am so glad we got out of there before anything really did happen, because you really never know, and you have to trust your gut. 
so yeah and so tomorrow we fly to Portugal and I'm gonna try and do daily vlogs then and I'm sorry this one's so short um, but that's just the way things happened I just we didn't have time to vlog every day um, but thank you and if you have more questions I can give you all the information I just wanted to make this video as short as possible thanks okay I don't want to end it that way <laughs>